everybody. I'm about to broadcast um, on a recent Cosmopolitan contribution I, I did. Uh, I'm Hannah Davis, the Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to jump on. Um, I'm also on the advisory board for Cosmopolitan Magazine and I contribute all things fitness. Um, Ashlyn, my intern, is filming this broadcast today, so if you guys have questions, she will read the questions. I'm happy to answer questions, so give me questions, uh, share this broadcast if you hear something you like, uh, if you learn something new, and throw me some hearts by tapping the screen, uh, so that encourages other people to see my broadcast. Okay, so I am specifically addressing the contribution in the most recent Cosmopolitan, the September issue with Demi Lovato on the front. And in it, I contributed on the fitness buzz right here, sexier in three moves. And I picked my top three moves to get you sexier faster. Um, in reality, these moves give you the most bang for your buck. So I wanted to do a three-part series that talks about each one of these moves and how to execute them properly. Um, I talk about lifting heavy weights in the uh, contribution, and that's because you get better results when you lift heavy. But women in particular are often scared to lift heavier, so I want to kind of eliminate those fears by walking you through the exercises and how to do them properly. So today, we're going to be talking about the bench press. Um, again, for, you those, for those of you that just tuned in, Hannah Davis, I'm on the advisory board of Cosmopolitan Magazine, and we're talking about the bench press and how to execute that move properly uh, so that you can shape up burn more fat and get fit faster, sexier in three moves. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the magazine and we're gonna walk over to the, the bench. Now this is such an intimidating machine, isn't it? We always see the guys using it, um, but it's very important that women lift just like men. There's no reason we need to be lifting any differently. And the reason for that is because we also release hormones that help us lose weight, build muscle, uh, and, and get fit faster when we put our muscles under enough stress. So um, I want to teach you guys how to bench press. Now a lot of people don't even know that what the bar weighs. The bar weighs 45 pounds. So I want to recommend that before you do attempt this, that you can bench press um, using the dumbbells using 15 pounds in each hand, at least, before you, you come over to the bar. The bar weighs 45 pounds, so we're just gonna work on lifting the bar today. And then you, of course, wanna load the weight as you feel super comfortable pressing the bar. Okay, so, come on out. Anybody Ooh, asking questions yet? Not yet. Okay. What was your max, questions. Hannah? What's that? What's your max? What can, what's your oh, max bench my press? My max might be 95. Nice. Not really that great. Okay, so um, I'm going to lay back on the bench here, and I'm putting my eyes kind of in line with the bar. And guys, just to make yourself a little more comfortable, <laughs> is this like a weird angle? Kind of, but it, you work it so it well. I'm trying to like get this nice, beautiful neck you have. So. Awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, you're going to line your eyes up right underneath the bar. If you can look a little closer at the bar, there are these two little um, grooves in it that aren't rough. I use those to kind of line my pinkies up with. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I take a little bit of a wider grip, I'm going to take the closer groove, wrap my pinky around each side, and that's going to be my grip. Now, if I have pretty long arms, if you know you have short arms, instead I take the grip, I put my thumb right where that graded part starts, and I wrap my hands around that, okay? From here, watch out, Ashley. <laughs> I'm gonna engage the core, feet are pressed firmly on the floor, press the bar up, lift it over my chest. I don't want it over my neck, my chin, it's over my chest. I'm gonna slowly guide it down all the way to the chest, and then push up 
with as much power as I can. So again, that's slow on the way down and push up. Inhale on the way down, exhale, okay? And then to place it back, you just let the bar hit. Don't be afraid of making noise. <laughs> let it drop down and that's your bench press. So um, again, make sure you can press those dumbbells, at least 15 on each arm, and then I really think you're ready for the bar. It might feel weird at first, but that's okay. You can have a spotter. If you're working out with a gym buddy, have them stand behind here. I'll just show you that real quick. They can kind of jump behind the bar, and they can just, for safety precautions, make sure you're not going to drop it. But you won't drop it, not if you're pressing 15. Um, so guys, there's, there's hopefully a really awesome revolution starting uh, with women lifting heavier and getting better results. Um, I want to throw the name Holly Perkins out there. She contributes to a lot of women's health magazine stuff and she's on this huge initiative called Hashtag Women's Strength Nation. So if you kind of look that up, she does a really great job of teaching you proper form uh, with exercises. I'm gonna continue to do the same. So this week we're talking about the bench press, which I, I, I picked because I think it's the easier to get of the three moves. Uh, next Wednesday, I'm gonna talk about the back squat, and then the following Wednesday, we're gonna get into the deadlift. So give me some taps if you're gonna try the bench press this week. Uh, let me know if you have tried it. Do you have any, does anybody have any questions? No, no questions. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this scope. Be sure to share it, and I'll see you next Wednesday when we talk about the back squat. Sweet. Stop broadcast. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> figuring that one out. I know. Ah. Hold on, scroll down. We're figuring oh. it out, guys. We're almost done.